Hey, today I have a special guest I met a few months ago back in Paris. So here we are with Jason. Hi, Jason. Hey, everyone. Super glad to be here. Thanks for having me, Joseph. So can you tell us more about your role at Databricks? Yeah, for sure. I am uh, the product manager for The Notebook. And uh, so I've been working on a lot of the new notebook experiences that we've been releasing recently, like um, the new cell UI and the new result table, as well as the debugger. Amazing. So please show me all the new features. Okay, awesome. Yeah, happy to do so. Let me uh, let me share my screen. So to be honest, I was really, really amazed by all the new features that has been released. Um, I mean, the... It's one of the fastest products I've ever seen, like, you know, growing with those number of features. Yeah, no, we, we've been doing a ton of work here. We've been putting a lot of investment into the notebook to just uh, make it better and make it make it awesome. And so um, I think a lot of the stuff I'll talk about today is kind of how we've been um, redesigning the UI basically from the ground up to make it uh, just easier to use, more uh, delightful to use. Um, so as you can see, like right here, we have the new cell UI and the new result table um, enabled. And um, these are two recent new features that hopefully everyone has seen and, and got a chance to try. And um, there's just a lot of nice things with them. So like, for example, um, I don't know, with, with, the old new cell, with the old cell UI, it was always really complicated to move cells around. And so now with the new cell UI, you can just like click this and just drag, you know, and it's really easy to do this. Um, here's a little hidden trick a lot of people don't know. If you want to collapse the results, you can just... Um, double click to collapse the results, which is nice. We also have uh, now a single click to run button. So you can just say run cell um, and it'll do that. Uh, we also have a new uh, focus mode. So if you just click this mode right here, you can just look at the cell that you're working on. So it's nice. I don't know about you, but I get very distracted by uh, everything on my page. And so this is nice just to focus in on exactly what I'm, what I'm working on. Um, and if we, uh, if we click down here, we'll get an output um, again of uh, of what we were, what we were running. Um, it's also nice you can navigate this way. So if I click through here, I can go to the next cell um, and I can continue my notebook. So if you prefer this kind of uh, one cell at a time focus mode experience, we we have this, uh, which is which is hopefully going to be um, awesome for folks. Anything uh, anything you else anything else you want to call out, Yosef, about the new cell? Anything you've liked in particular? I believe also the possibility to rename the cells uh, without uh, having the without oh. having the markdown. Yes. So yes. 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 And yeah. 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 That that's really amazing. And also the new uh, let's say the um, the the new AI experience where you just need to add slash doc and then it will add the, automatically the documentation to your to your code or fix the issue. So. This is this is really amazing. I mean, just clicking near the uh, near the, like in yeah. this part, and that's it. And slash command slash doc, and you have this uh, this command generated for you. So that's really really amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's putting comments and everything. Um, yeah. I I will say here. I'll go. Uh, I'll go reject that because I don't want to fix this because this is uh this is part of my my upcoming demo. So let me reject this. But um, you know, one other thing I think with the the new cell UI, which makes it feel awesome and brand new, is um, we have custom theming now. So if you see like, like, oh, this is not what I usually see the of, of the color scheme of, of Databricks. So if you go to view and then you go to editor theme, you know, this this would be the, the Databricks default. Um, we can look at this. There's more stuff to look at. Um, and I can just kind of um, customize whatever I want. So like, I like AU light. It has this nice orange feel, but uh, there's a lot of other um, themes like this. This one's a nice one. Um, so you can you can play around and customize your, your UI as well. Amazing. Cool. Well, then, the, so let me go back to my my preferred theme, and then the next thing that we've talked about, or that I want to talk about, is the new result table. So, again, from the ground up, kind of totally changed the way that results um, the result table works to make it better for exploratory data analysis. So, as you can see here, I have this um, playlist which talks about the top Spotify songs for twenty twenty three, and if I click into the new result table, I have kind of these Excel like section, uh, selection mechanics, so I can just grab multiple things. You know, if I want to copy. Um, I can just, you know, copy that really easily across multiple things, which is nice. If you want to do partial selection, you can just double click. And so then I can grab, um, you know, like just this, this, this portion of it, which is great. Um, we have 
some data type icons here. So if I hover over this, we see this one is a long, whereas this is a string, uh, which is nice just for your, your analysis. Um, if you want to sort, again, really easy to, to do a single click sort between different things here. And we also have some powerful stuff that, that was not available before, which is like, like search, for example. So if I want to search um, all the columns for new genes, you know, it's a, an artist I've liked recently. Um, I, I can do that, which is great. And then also we have specific um, filtering on columns and values. So you can, you can add a filter by um, clicking in here and then doing this. Or one of my personal favorite ways is by, um, if you right click on a cell, you can say filter by this value. And so now I have all the artists with Taylor Swift. Um, and then if I, for example, if I want to do this again with release year of 2019, I can filter by this value. And so I can really, really quickly do exploratory data analysis. Um, and then we'll add another filter just for, for good measure, just to show, say, if I want to get this cruel summer, um, I just add here and I just type summer and uh, we'll get the one that, that contains that. So really, really powerful way to do a bunch of exploratory data analysis with the new result table. I wasn't aware of this one. <laughs> Well, there you go. Yeah. So you just, you just toggle it right here. You can just, uh, you can go in and out. So again, yeah, here's, here's the old table, very basic functionality. And if you just go here and you just say, um, toggle it on and we're, we're looking at all the feedback, making a lot of changes and improvements. So if there's anything you would like to see added or changed, uh, definitely let us know in the feedback. And, um, if you give it to us, I, I will read it. So. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. And, yeah. And I and I also have heard that you're going to show me the new Debugging experience. Yes, I, I am. Yes, exactly. So, so okay, so let's get to that. So I started with SQL here just to, to show you this. Um, and then in Databricks, actually, we have the ability to go from SQL to uh, a Python data frame or a Pandas data frame. And so, um, you know, I can see the output was stored in SQL DF. So I'll just run this to convert this to Python. And then I want to create a visualization which shows um, the average valence of, of different songs in this playlist, but I have an error right here. So I'll just, I'll run this again, just to make sure everyone can see. Um, we, we, we have this error. It's not quite doing um, what I'd want to. And this is actually one where, you know, I tried the assistant and uh, it, it didn't quite, um, it, it gave me a solution that was right, but it, it wasn't a solution or they got rid of an error, but it wasn't a solution that gave me the output that I was looking for. So this is a situation where I really want to debug in my code and see what's wrong. So I'll just click here to add a breakpoint. I guess I'll do here because there's actually code there. And if I just click this little drop down here with the new cell UI, I can say debug cell. What that will do is it will um, open up a uh, a uh, my variable window over here. And then I get a little debugging frame where I can step through um, just right here in this cell. So I can just continue the next line. Okay, so this looks like it's it's doing what I want. Um, you know, I have I have my data frames over here. Those seem like they're doing what, what I want them to do. Uh, if I go to the next line, let's see the Spotify average valence mean 60.6. Um, .6, that looks like it's calculated correctly. Apple looks like uh, it's calculated correctly at 54. And then if I go over to the next line, um, I can see the Deezer average valence. Oh, okay. Well, this is not what I wanted to uh, to be seeing here. I wanted to be seeing uh, a number. And it looks like I forgot to call the the, the mean function here. So I can uh, I can make that fix here. I can stop debugging. I, I could go through it again, uh, but in the if in the just for time's sake, I will uh, I won't I won't put you through that, and we'll just run this and uh, show you that now we have uh, have the right answer. So we have yeah step through step by step debugging now, which is a really powerful way to uh, yeah step through and debug your code. So this is something we've. Heard a lot of people want and requests, and so we're excited to be bringing it uh, very, very soon to to everyone. Yeah, it's amazing, and and also something uh, which can be part of this debugging experience. If you remember, like just a few months ago, let's suppose you did run ten query, ten cells, and then at the cell number around eleven or twelve, you faced an issue. So you should have uh, run each cell uh alone now we just click on this run all above it will run all the cells and it will stop on this cell where we have the issue run the debug experience fix the issue and then you can keep running all the cells above and it's really quick way to improve your productivity and fix your issues quickly and put your workloads on production yes no ex exactly yeah you, you said it better than me you're, you're, you're yeah exactly so it's really, really amazing. So 
I think I, I, I really can't wait to test all those uh, new features. Um, thank you, Jason, for running us through those uh, this new experience. And uh, any other comments before we finish the session? No, I mean, I guess I just want to say thanks to all of our, our users. Honestly, uh, it's it's uh, it's thanks to your feedback that we're able to make such awesome products. So um, continue to give us feedback and uh, we'll continue to read your feedback and, and make adjustments. So um, so, yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for having me. And I'll stop sharing now. Thank you, Jason. It was a real pleasure and uh, see you soon.